Welcome to the rapid teacher training for open distance and online learning. My name is Andrew Moore. I am from a Johannesburg based consultancy and we have been invited by UNESCO to facilitate this third module, module 2B, on creating open educational resources. I'm very fortunate that in many ways this is a follow-up to work that I've already done before in Zimbabwe in 2019. I had the opportunity to go around to different cities and engage with many of your colleagues on a similar topic, uh, how to create curriculum resources. Um, so what are we going to be doing this time? Well, it's a bit different because of COVID-19 and of the need now for remote teaching. Uh, we are obviously going to try and model an approach for instruction uh, online rather than face-to-face, -face, as much as that saddens me as I loved coming to Zimbabwe previously. However, these skills will be very useful in your own teaching. Of course, my focus is going to be on open educational resources. We're going to look at what are they, what are the potential benefits of using existing OER and creating new OER, we're going to be looking at open licenses. What do they mean? What do they permit you to do? And what do you need to be careful of? We are going to investigate how to find open educational resources. They're not all in one place. So how do you find them? We'll look at different search techniques. And we're going to spend a bit of time on creating and adapting existing OERs. And finally, in the last piece, we're going to be looking at how you can share your open resources not only with your colleagues in Zimbabwe, but potentially with teachers across the globe. I'm very excited to be here. I hope you are. I think we've got some great events and activities ahead. So let's get stuck in.